What's going on YouTube? So today um, is my first actual real video, if you will. Um, I posted a video about Call of Duty and some Twitch streaming stuff. Some of you might know me from Twitch. Some of you might be my friends and really know me, but some of you might be from YouTube and I'd like for those communities to intertwine, right? So today we're gonna get a little bit more personal about my, me, um, but then also uh, the video, as you can tell by the title, is gonna be more in depth about my setup, my PC, what I'm running, how I got it, and how it looks like on different games. I got some video clips from uh, Warzone, regular multiplayer on Call of Duty, as well as Fortnite. I know that one's kind of washed that way, um, but I included it. Um, but let's get right into it. All right, guys, when I go to the screen record, the audio is going to get a little bit less quality right i apologize events leave a comment in the description i don't know anyway so this is basically what i'm rocking right i got the alienware aurora r8 um it's kind of outdated now i would link this in the description but i think they're onto the r11 series now um but basically what it came with is on screen right um i have the ninth gen intel core i7 9700 um I have the Windows 10 came with it, right? An NVIDIA GeoForce RTX 2060 Super. Um, the only downfall about this GPU is that I um, only got eight gigabytes of VRAM with that. I'm thinking about that might be one of my first upgrades on it. Um, it came with 16 gigabytes of RAM installed, right? As you can see, yeah. Um, a little bit more specs. It came with a 512 gigabyte uh, NVMe SSD for the boot. Um, and then a terabyte at seven... 1200 rpms of sata storage um i don't think that's on screen no it's not um but it does a lot saves a lot and it loads up pretty quick it came with two fans and for 50 dollars more i threw on a water cooling system in it to it so it's dead quiet it never overheats and have never had an issue and i mean i have put this thing to the test overclocked it the whole night all right we got the thing unplugged it's here on the ground right so to get it unlatched right you got a little Lever you got to pull up on, pull up on that. It allows your power supply, a whole unit cage. I'll show you what I'm talking about to come out. Um, right here we have a little lever we pull out on. Um, there's a little screw. All right, Denny, the pleasure to take that guy out. But then also there's a screw that was right here. Took that guy out, right? Pop the shield off. And now we're into the main frame here, right? Boom. And a little dirty, but never hurt anybody. Let's swing this thing open. And inside we have the beast. Hey, so we're back. Um, we got it all pieced back together, got it all plugged up, it's up and running, everything's smooth. We talked about what was under the hood, I wanna talk about how I got it, right? So um, about two, three years ago, I was at work. Um, this guy came in, he was telling me about how he got an Xbox One X, which was hot at the time, uh, for $40 a month, right? And I was like, sounds kinda of sketchy, how'd you do it? Um, two, three years ago, I was 19, 20 years old, right? Um, and the guy was like, yo, just go into the local Microsoft store. I had one in town in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, shout out Hoosiers. Um, you know, you just waltz on in, tell them what you want. They put on a credit line account. It's not a card, it's an actual account with Dell. Um, they'll run your credit, that kind of thing. Um, I was 19, 20, I had my own car at that point. My credit score was pretty good for a 19, 20 year old. I was like, what's the matter? I didn't have a lot. I had my car payment. I think I had like a small secured credit card. So I was like, what's this gonna hurt? It can only build my credit. And it's a hobby of mine, something that I'm not, I don't feel like it's a, uh, a bad purchase. Not the traditional way of just paying cash and saying, yo, I paid for it, it's mine, boom. But what this did is it allowed me to buy this higher end PC uh, for higher end like gaming, running frames higher, um, streaming if I wanted to, that kind of thing, which I've been dibbling into now. Um, but at the end of the day, I walked in, got an Xbox. Um, they gave me like a $1,200 credit line, got an Xbox, 2K20 at the time, uh, like a year of Game Pass and Live, an extra controller, a Tomb Raider, all sorts of stuff, right? Uh, put on this account. I was paying like 40 bucks a month, walked out of the store with it, went home, hooked it up, called it a day. I still have that Xbox, just kind of hangs out now that I got this PC, but it's all paid off. Um, fast forward two or three years, right? This past year, beginning of 2020, um, they're like, yo, this credit account got boosted up to $3,000. I had no idea my credit score went up. And I was like, yo, what, what happened? So I looked into it. Um, and they're like, yo, you got to use this or you're going to, the account's going to get closed. Cause I didn't have anything on it for a couple months, almost a year. Um, and so I looked into Dell, what they had to offer. I was looking at NZXT, buying a PC from them. I was looking at Newegg, piecing one together myself. I was looking at, um, asking my friends, Hey, how you do this? How you do that with building a PC? I was new to all of it. 
So my safest bet was to just buy one pre-built, which is also untraditional. Everybody's like crapping on me about buying a built PC. However, I got a nicer, higher end PC for um, paying 60 bucks a month for it. Um, but then at the beginning of the year when we got our um, checks for $1,200 because um, of COVID, I went and just used all that pay, majority of it. All right, guys, so first thing on the list, um, we're just going to go down this pretty quickly. Don't want to make it too long of a video, but we talked about the hardware. We talked about the Alienware next to the monitors, right? So this is the exact one that I have. Uh, it's the Asus 27-inch, um, 144 hertz. Um, it's one millisecond. I believe mine's a half millisecond. If that's a thing, I might be wrong, uh, but it is 1080p full HD. Um, there was a 4K, I believe. I didn't want to go for it um, because I didn't plan on streaming or doing video game in... Uh, 4k plan on doing an hd so um but this pricing here it's kind of cattywampus right i don't you know whatever i found an uh open box one that was brand new uh had the guys at the store test it out i'm doing best buy simply because that's where i got it right so that's what i would recommend uh, but right into the next we're going to go into rocat again i'm all about the steals and the deals right Dr. Disrespect at the time was running some killer discounts with them. I think he still is. This is the exact same keyboard I have that I showed you guys. It's the Vulcan 80 from Rocat. It's uh, mechanical. I love the clicks, the sounds of it. It sounds stellar. It feels awesome. The uh, longevity presses, like what you actually feel, is all the way there. Um, but right now, as you can see, they're doing discounts on them. Um, I stayed in line with the Rocat mouse, right? I went wireless. A lot of guys talk crap about wireless. Um, you lose connectivity. You lose that extra mill a millisecond, right? No, I don't really feel it. The, the mouse does die from time to time. But if you look into it and you know, hey, how much gameplay do I have left on my mouse? You're not going to be running in the middle of a war zone match dying. Um, it does come with a cord. So if you want to keep plugged in all times, you can. Um, but it is just to charge it up. You can play it on there all the time if you like. Uh, for the headset, I stuck with Kraken. Um, I had these guys when I was playing Xbox. Um, again, this guy is $100. Um, I got it on Black Friday last year. Um, and it runs from Xbox to PC, so it's wonderful. I love it. I use a little THX bar now that I have PC because it plugs in straight to USB into my PC, um, which allows me to control it a little bit more. There's a Razer Synapse app where you can do a little bit more in-depth controlling on your sound, your playback, that kind of thing with it. It's pretty awesome. Um, and then the last thing isn't really too big of a concern, but shout out to my brother. He taught me this little trick. Um, I was running Cat5 cable for the longest time from my uh, my Wi-Fi box, my router, my modem straight into my PC. Um, and Cat5 is cool and all, but then I found Cat6, right? So I have a 1,000 meg internet. It's fiber optic internet. It's 1,000 up. It's 1,000 down. So Cat6 does allow fiber optic 1,000 speed to run smoother to the PC. I'm not noticing any faster speeds on the PC, honestly, from the Cat5. It's not anything crazy. Um, it's about the same speeds, honestly, up and down that I'm seeing. However, the latency, the connection is a little bit more true. Um, I'm getting closer and closer to the zero ping, if you will. Um, but simple test is uh, running the same speeds. But that's what's on the on the. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh, hey. So these next clips are just going to be uh, in gameplay. Um, notice in the corners, I believe Call of Duty's top left, Fortnite's to the right, the FPS. It's just going to be the frames per second, what I'm running, how it's running in game with what my build is. Uh, I believe Call of Duty multiplayer, I go from 120, 140 frames per second, which is pretty high. Xbox consoles are about 60 frames per second maxed. Um, and whereas in Warzone, I run anywhere from about 100 to 120, push 130. Um, there's a lot more going on in Warzone, right? Uh, but then Fortnite, it's running, I think, 90s to 120. Um, I think it opens at 130. But uh, yeah, don't hate on the gameplay, okay? As quick as for the educational purposes. Save the whales, dude. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy at the Stone Bridge. Enemy. <laughs>
uh, some some things moved around in my life where I'm having a lot more time on my hands. Still full full time employee, still got a job, that kind of thing. Just moved a lot closer to home. Went from like an hour commute to work one way to a five minute commute. So I plan on playing a little bit more, uploading a little bit more, and get this thing really going. Uh, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you. If you guys want to hit the like button. Give me a follow, give me a shout out, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch. It's uh, twitch.tv slash the missing mongoose. I'll catch you guys again later. Peace. <laughs>